I'm going to continue showing examples for finding the area under a normal curve. And one example that I haven't shown yet, if, if you haven't watched my previous videos, on all the other ones I was finding the area under the normal curve to the left of a particular uh, particular z-score. But this time, this time I'm going to find the area under the curve that lies to the right of a particular z-score. Once again, drawing a picture is extremely important. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just label and recognize that right here in the center is a z-score of zero. The z-score is always zero in the center of my normal distribution. And I want to find the area to the right of negative 0.99. Well, negative 0.99, this right here would be, right, right in this area would be negative 1 for my z-score. So negative 0.99, let me use a different line there. Negative 0.99 would be right about here, just a little bit to the inside of uh, negative 1. And I want to find the area to the right of that value. So I'm going to shade this curve like this. Always, always, always helpful to draw a picture. And I am going to use normal CDF on my calculator to find the area to the right. Now, let me draw this in. Let me write this in. This is negative 0.99. And in my previous videos, I talked about if I continue all the way to the left or all the way to the right, I need a right-hand or a left-hand boundary. In this case, I need a boundary to the right. This goes on forever. I'm going to go ahead and use positive 99 as my boundary. Again, if you want a little bit more explanation about that, then watch some of my previous videos and it talks about it. So I'm going to go, let me go full screen here. I'm going to type in second vars to get to my variables menu and go down to number two, normal CDF. Again, this should be familiar if you watch some of my previous videos. And my right or my left hand boundary is negative 0.99. I need to put a comma, which is above the seven. And my right hand boundary is positive 99. I'll close my parentheses, and when I hit enter, it will give me the area under the curve between those two z-scores. So right there, I'll pull this over here, and I can see that the area of this green shaded region is 0.8389. So there's just another example of finding the area under the curve, but this time we're looking at the area under the curve to the, whoops, to the right of a particular z-score. In my next video, I'll show you how to find the area between two z-scores that are, that are pretty close to each other, and I don't have to use 99 or negative 99 as my left-hand or right-hand boundary.